So when you get started with DocuSign, the number one thing you need to do is to get a developer account. And the reason for this is because when you send an envelope from your normal paid production account, the account that might have been set up by your company or maybe by yourself if that's your own business, then you need to realize that your envelopes are not um, unlimited. You can't send as many envelopes as you want. I mean, in theory you can, but you're gonna have to pay for this at some point. And so DocuSign doesn't give you unlimited envelopes. If you've bought a uh, one user on a business pro subscription, you get 100 envelopes per year per user. If you bought a larger plan with more users, maybe you've got 5,000 envelopes to send per year. But at the end of the day, you don't get unlimited envelopes. And that's why you want to get a free developer account because that allows you to build your DocuSign configurations test them, you can send as many test envelopes as you want. And by the way, you should because you're going to make a lot of errors. I still test all my envelopes and I've been using DocuSign for three years now. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Sofian Saudi and I'm the founder of Solution Consulting. I help financial advisors automate document workflows and use electronic signature solutions such as DocuSign eSignature to prevent uh, signers from entering errors in forms and just automate all that compliance and boring paperwork. So if you're interested in getting more help than just a YouTube video, you can book a strategy call with me using the link in the description just down below. So the very first thing you want to do is to jump to developer.docusign.com and then you want to create a free developer account. The way you do this is by click on developer account, create your account, and then just follow the steps. So when you get to the email part, what I really recommend you do is you use exactly the same email address as the email address you're using for your standard DocuSign account. And the reason for this is that you don't want to have to remember two different credentials. And I would argue that you should use the same password as well. All right, so I filled out the form. I'm just going to click on get started. And then I am going to receive an email notification that wants me to change my password. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Now I'm going to activate the account using the link that I've received in the email um, activation request. So now the account is activated, but when you get there, you're like, okay, what the hell am I supposed to do with this thing? DocuSign makes it super easy for you to log into your standard DocuSign account. So um, if you go to um, DocuSign.com, you will always be able to click on login and then you can just access your paid DocuSign account. The problem is with the developer account, I think that it's actually pretty difficult to find the link. So what I really suggest you do is that you bookmark the login page for the developer account. And so what is the uh, login page um, address? It's simply account, whoops, let me start again, account hyphen D for demo dot docusign dot com. And by the way, it looks exactly like the regular DocuSign, uh, your paid DocuSign account. So that's why it can be confusing. What you want to do is you want to bookmark this page. Once you're logged into your developer account, the first thing you want to do is you go to your settings and you want to use exactly the same settings as the ones you have in your paid production account. And after your settings are configured, you can then go ahead and create your first template. So you go to template, create template. And by the way, I've got a full how to create templates video on YouTube. So you can check that video out. Um, you want to start by naming your template. So that's going to be the template name. Then you can add your document. I'm going to just open anything that I've got handy here. There you go. Then you want to add your um, receipt, your signers. So I'm going to go with signer one. And then you're going to add your fields to the document, of course. So we're going to go with uh, a text field here and I'm not building the template. I'm just showing you how you're going to need to move the template across uh, into your production account. Once you're happy with everything and the template is set up, then you save and close the template and you test it. Once you've tested the template and you know that it works exactly the way you want, then you go to the little drop down and you download the template. And remember, you only do this once you've tested your envelopes multiple times. The template has now been downloaded into my downloads. So I'm going to go to my uh, standard DocuSign account, I mean, production account or paid account. And then I'm going to go to the templates tab and I'm going to upload my uh, template. So I click on the little drop down and upload template. Again, if you haven't followed, if you don't see the upload template um, thingy, 
it's because you don't have the enable template upload option in the um, in the sending settings of your admin settings. So once the template is here, you can share it with your other users, you can place it in a folder, you do whatever you need. If you need more help with DocuSign and want an expert to assist you with your DocuSign implementation, you can find the link to book a strategy call with me in the description of this video and I will speak to you in the next one.